So headaches can be located on one side or both sides of your head. They may be intermittent, so they may come and go periodically. They can be episodic, so they'll come on for a longer period of time and then go and then come back or constant, so just all the goddamn time. Some are acute, so they come and go rapidly, while others can be chronic and persist for days or weeks. Where you feel your head is aching may tell us something about the cause. So for example, if you feel pain on one side of the head and around your eyes, it could be a cluster headache. Cluster headaches are rare. Anyone can get them, but they're more common in men and they tend to start when a person is in their 30s or 40s and cluster headaches begin quickly and without warning. The pain is very severe and it's often described as a burning or piercing sensation on one side of the head. And like I said, it's often felt around the eyes, around your temples and sometimes face and it tends to occur on the same side for each attack. The exact cause of cluster headaches isn't really known but they've been linked to activity in the hypothalamus and also people who smoke seem to have a higher risk of getting cluster headaches. Some cases also appear to run in families which suggests that there may be a genetic link. Cluster headache attacks can also sometimes be triggered by drinking alcohol or by strong smells like perfume paint or petrol. And then if you feel deep constant pressure like pain in your cheekbones, forehead or the bridge of your nose, it could be caused by your sinuses. Some people may find that the pain can get worse with sudden head movements um, or straining. Sinus headaches are often caused by a cold, sinus inflammation or other viruses or bacteria. And then we have what's commonly known as caffeine headache. And I used to get these all the time before I stopped to decaf. If you are drinking a lot of tea or coffee and you suddenly stop, you are likely to have a caffeine headache. And these are normally felt behind your eyes or at the front of your head, around your forehead. Um, a tension headache is the most common type of headache. It may feel like a constant ache that affects both sides of your head. You may also feel the neck muscles tighten and a feeling of pressure behind the eyes. Um, it normally isn't severe enough to prevent you from doing your normal daily activities. And most people are likely to have experienced a tension headache at some point in their lives. Women do tend to suffer from them more commonly than men, and some adults experience tension type headaches more than 15 times a month for at least three months in a row, which is known as having um, chronic tension type headaches. So many different things can cause tension headaches like stress and anxiety, squinting, poor posture, tiredness, dehydration, skipping meals, lack of physical activity, bright sunlight, noise, certain smells, the list is endless. And finally, the last kind of headache I want to talk about is probably the worst kind, the thunderclap headache. A thunderclap headache is a severe, super severe headache that peaks within like the first 60 seconds of onset. So a sudden blinding headache, probably unlike anything you've ever experienced before. The most common cause of this kind of headache is a subarachnoid hemorrhage, which is a type of stroke caused by bleeding on the surface of the brain which is caused itself by a burst blood vessel in the brain or a ruptured brain aneurysm. Because this bulging blood vessel has burst and released blood into the space around your brain, lots of sudden pressure is put on your brain, which is why it aches so suddenly. So if you ever feel a very extreme blinding headache appear out of nowhere, please, please, please call an ambulance. Also, lifestyle habits matter when it comes to brain health, especially mental stimulation. It's scientifically proven. So if you want to keep your brain in tip top shape, you should head on over to Brilliant, today's sponsor, who have just created a new feature, Daily Problems, which helps to make learning a daily habit. Every day they publish several problems that provide a quick and fascinating view into math, logic, science, engineering, or computer science. Each problem gives you the information that you need to tackle it. So you learn the concepts by applying them. If that sounds like fun to you, you should go to brilliant.org forward slash science with Katie and finish your day a little smarter. And the first 200 of you to do so will get 20% off the annual subscription to view all problems in the archives. And that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, click subscribe. And a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon and thank you for watching. Bye.